Alpha is complete. And during Alpha, we were able to do some stuff that was really critical for the game. We made sure that the servers were nicely stable. We got our socialization elements in. Uh, we torture tested the, te the tools, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. And then we also made sure that, uh, that claiming was really ironed out so that we were ready for large amounts of people to come in and be able to do that. Um, how did Alpha go for us? Well, it was... <laughs> It was fantastic. The players really tore into stuff. And if you're, if you're watching this and you participate in Alpha, you know what I'm talking about. But for those of you did, that didn't, we gave everybody in the game seven basic tools, and they went just crazy with them. They invented all kinds of stuff we had absolutely no idea you could do, like micro-voxels and super micro-voxels and zero-voxels and negative-voxels, inlay techniques, tons of stuff. And all of that stuff is ready and waiting for you now because we did Alpha. But now we start closed beta. And closed beta is a very different phase than alpha, but we're still adding a lot to the game. In fact, the systems that we're adding to the game are really large impact ones. That's why we did alpha first to get this foundation solid. Now we're adding things like combat and danger, uh, achievements, a crafting 2.0, which is a total overhaul of the crafting system that you're familiar with from, from alpha. We'll be adding in PVP elements, player studio, guild support, and a whole host of other things, including refinements on our existing features. Many people ask me, how long will closed beta last? And the answer is, as long as we need it. It's definitely going to be longer than alpha, but it's preparation for open beta. And when you're a free-to-play game, Open beta is pretty close to just being launched. If you're new to the game and you've seen a lot of screenshots and videos out there and you're stressed about being able to do stuff that cool, well stop stressing. This isn't a race. This isn't about this isn't a get to the end game kind of game. You're basically going to learn at your own pace and be as creative as you want to be. We've got lots of tools for you to be able to figure it out. There's an F12 feature, which brings up all kinds of help tutorials so that you can see what's going on inside the game. There's a forum that's specially dedicated to tutorials uh, created by us and by players that you can look through at your own leisure, as well as just go hang out with other players, make some friends, see a claim where somebody's building something cool and ask them questions. This is a fantastic community. I've never been involved with a community this classy and this cool. And we're telling you everything. The roadmap of what's coming, what features we're working on, why we're working on them, that's all on the forums. In fact, our entire business plan is on the forums. If you want to find out what we're going to charge for and what our theories are behind our business, we've already told you all that. It's right there for you to take a look at. And of course, we're always on social media. If there is a social media, we're there. Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, all the different forums, uh, all the different things that we can do, we're doing. So when you ask questions, when you have concerns, we're finding out about them and getting right on it. And we are listening. This is a group effort. You are part of the dev team now, along with everybody else. So your feedback is steering the game. So while you're in closed beta, tell us about the bugs and the exploits that you find. Give us feedback on the artwork that you see. And tell us what you like and you don't like about the gameplay. We'll work to keep you informed, and together we'll build something great. That was the intro video for you viewers.